hey my baby dolls welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be reviewing my first impressions on the huda beauty easy bake loose baking and setting powder so um about this wig i know you guys are probably wondering what it is <laughs> i'll have the video down below i already reviewed this unit this is the bobby boss vera wig so i'll have that link down below for you all so um, I already moisturized my skin and prepped it all up. First, I'm going to start off with my brows. I know you guys like for me to start off with my brows. Um, just show you guys the first steps of my makeup. So yeah, I'm going to just go ahead and fill in my brows. I'm using the NYX eyebrow pencil and I have it in the color Espresso. This has been working out for me recently really, really good. I am going to go back to my other brow um, kit that I usually use. Like, I haven't used it in so long. It's by Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Dip Brow. I'm going to go back today because I, also, I really missed it. And just because I just forgot all about it, it's a really good product. So I, I am definitely going back to that. <laughs> so yeah, it's good stuff, you all So to conceal these brows, I did use LA Pro Conceal Fod and I used the Maybelline uh, concealer in the color Honey and I mixed those both to get the shade that I wanted so I just mixed those both to do my brows and then when I concealed the top of my brow, I kind of used uh, mostly of the color Fawn because it's not too light and I hate like the halo effect on the top of the brow so that's what I did. my eyelid I use the same colors over the lid just to prep it and conceal them now I'm not doing a eyeshadow look no eyeshadow today I'm just going to conceal them and prep them and set them right into place So I picked up two of the Huda Beauty powders and I have one in Canufa and I have the other one in Cinnabon. So I'm just going to go ahead and set my eyelids in place with this powder. And I'm going to use this uh, color under my eye too as well. So with this powder they do have a shield for you to press it down in with your beauty blender so it just gives you a nice easier access to bake with. But you guys know I don't bake, I use my brush to just... Uh, press it down into my skin. I don't bake. I just put it on and swiftly wipe it away. <laughs> I hate baking. It just doesn't work out for me. So this is exactly how I'm doing it.
use the Kanufa shade under my eye. So um, this is a type of powder that was made for like mostly baking. But um, like I said previously, I do not bake. I just use my brush and I apply it on. So they do have another shade before Kanufa and it's in Blondie. Blondie is a little bit lighter. I chose Kanufa because it has more of a yellow undertone to it. So that's what caught my eye. Um, so that's the reason why I got this one and it works pretty pretty good so as you can see I'm just pressing it down and I'm just going to wipe it away and press it into the skin and now with this powder it does have a matte finish so if you like matte powders or stuff like that then you will like this powder at first when I was putting it on I was kind of like confused or maybe I, I was I was just like I don't know if I'm gonna like it but as I kept applying it I started to see how smooth and full coverage this powder was. Now, I know you guys see like the inner corner of my eyelid is starting to mess up because my allergies are really, really bad right now. So my eyes just kept running. It was just a mess. So I am going to fix it a little bit. If you baby dolls have this issue while doing your makeup, please let me know because it's so annoying. <laughs> and then here I'm just going to use the other powder that I got is in the color cinnamon bun now this one I got this shade because I felt like it was will be a good shade to use for setting the whole face so as you can see um, I just used my fluffy brush and just blended it all out it was pretty smooth but I still have some questions trying to figure out if it looks good or not I'm not sure I have to keep playing around with it but um, it worked out pretty fine I did go in and did like a flash check to see if I had any flashback and I didn't so that was really really good everything looked as smooth uh, when I took a picture so that's really what's important too while working with powders and then I just grabbed my highlighter by wet n wild and I went ahead and highlighted my face and when you see me put the color under the eyelid I used um, the Morphe palette one thing I would say about the powder, it did last all day. It's like super full coverage. It didn't give me like that ashy look when I took my pictures. It didn't give me flashback. So that was one of the things that I was worried about, but it didn't give me any of that. It was very smooth on the face. It set in later perfect. Like I think once I put it on, it kind of looked powdery, but then throughout the day, it kind of set really nicely and it looked like my skin as you can see it looks good um so yeah i'm impressed with the color i am gonna go back to sephora and grab the blondie color too as well to see how that works um but yeah i think everything blends out good um the kanufa and the cinnamon bun well the cinnamon bun is what i really love too i thought it wasn't going to work out to set my whole face with but it ended up working out and then yeah, I actually like the product and how it made my skin look. So if you guys have any questions, any other questions I didn't say in the video or mention or anything like that, feel free to let me know down below. Tell me your thoughts. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed my first impressions on this powder. And I hope to see you baby dolls in my next video.